We have all at one point had social media, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, or Twitter. Some of us might still be on these platforms today. We communicate with friends, post pictures of ourselves and our family, and we make new connections. But what about the downfalls and the disadvantages that comes with social media? There are many cons to being on these platforms, such as these, which can cause distractions, struggles with self-image, and a lot of disconnections face-to-face. -face. This is so important for our society to be aware of because we spend an endless amount of time on these social media platforms. It can cause so many issues to come upon our lives. With all of this already being said, this is exactly why our society should steer away from these platforms. And if we already are on these platforms, to understand and to be aware of the downfalls that you can face with being on them. To begin with, one of the many disadvantages social media has on our lives is that we allow ourselves to compare our self-image or our life to one another, wrecking who we truly are. Comparing our lives to someone else's is a very slippery slope in our mental health. The article written by Sabrina LaPlante on the website, theconversation.com, social media and how it can crush our self-esteem. She states the social comparison therefore has many consequences for both our behavior and for our psychological well-being. For example, social media allows us to share our best part of our lives and also our best pictures of our lives, which goes for our society to say, why do I not look like that? Why is my life not as perfect as theirs? Or what am I doing wrong? When in reality, everyone has downfalls in their lives. We just choose not to show them. Another big part of self-image issues on social media is filters and editing our photos. Dr. Brian from How Social Media Can Harm Our Body Image says that you may not realize how much exactly editing is going on behind the scenes of what we see posted on social media. Everyone loves to use filters and loves to edit their posts. So nothing we see on platforms are really 100% truly of what they are. Furthermore, on the website rootsofaction.com by Marilyn Price Mitchell, she also states that we develop this perfect image of ourselves. And some of us actually try to create an imaginative thought that we have of ourselves instead of staying true to who we are. This just goes to show that everything on social media is not the reality, which can play mind games with who we are on the inside and who we are on the out. We have talked about one of the most important disadvantages to know about social media, but there's so much more that is not good for our well being on these platforms. And this is not being able to connect face to face with our peers. If you look back to times where you were with your friends, hanging out, or with your family at dinner, you will probably remember that the most of the time being around, everyone was connected to their phones either talking to other people, posting, or even communicating with the same people that are in the same vicinity as you are in. Marilyn Mitchell Price on rootsofaction.com says that friends use their phones so much that it is difficult to have conversations face-to-face -face with having all these platforms nowadays. It can cause you to lose your connections with your peers around you which is a big reason why a lot of us have social anxiety now, because it is so hard to connect in the presence of another person. Your friendships with your friends and your relationships with your family will grow so much more and be so much healthier if you keep face-to-face -face connection, more than just allowing it to be a platform relationship. Finally, we come to the last disadvantage. I'm going to bring forth here to you guys. This is that social media can impact your life by being a distraction to your main priorities. For example, <clears throat> author Team Amanda from the article, Teenagers and Social Media, Distraction and Low Concentration, states that excessive need to check on our mobile has led us to social media distraction and disassociation from everyone in our environment and everything in our environment. 
if we really take a second to listen to what this text is saying, we as a society are being so distracted by the platforms we are on that we disassociate ourselves from everything that is going on around us, including our daily tasks to help us grow. Marilyn Price Mitchell continues to explain how social media is a distraction. And she says, ever since I got a smartphone, I have been distracted from everything I watch. I watch less television, I do less homework, and I even spend less time with my families and friends. This comes from the website rootsofaction.com. This has to be one of the most true statements I have heard about being on our phones and social media and how we allow platforms to be our lives and we conform to what social media wants for us. We have to remember to stay into reality and to be true to who we are. We can clearly see that social media platforms are not helping us thrive in any kind of way of our actual lives. It causes distraction, body image issues, face-to-face -face disconnection, and so much more. So we need to put an end to allowing it to be all of our lives and to really live in the presence of who we are. Thank you.